Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson, and today I am going to um, break uh, witchcraft curses that are on your finances, the curses um, that have been placed on your finances where your finances have been taken in the demonic realm and the spiritual realm, and they have been buried in the ground there. Okay, and what this does, this actually destroys your finances. This is something that the Lord actually told me that this destroyed your, it destroys your finances. If you had finances flowing in, um, even, you know, a little bit of finances flowing in, everything, you know, you were doing pretty good. And then all of a sudden, everything just totally stops. You know, no matter what you try to do, it's just, it's dried up totally. You know, this destroys your finances. So we're going to... Um, at the end of this video, make sure you stay to the end of this video. I'm going to pray uh, for uh, your finances to be removed from the ground in Jesus' name. So the first thing I want to start doing um, in my prayer videos, because I want to make sure who, the people who are watching these uh, videos, that you um, know what it takes to actually get these things removed from your life. Um, like, I, like I said in my other video, is that the type of power that they are using to attack you and to attack us and to type our finances and to, to bring sickness and disease on our bodies, to attack our minds, to attack our destinies, you know, our heart, uh, to attack our atmosphere and people around us. They're using power, this demonic power, it's power that they are getting from the spiritual realm, the demonic realm. And so the only way this type of power can be removed from you is that a more powerful or more higher power has to be the power that removes it. That is the only way you can get this type of stuff off of you. You know, that's it. And the power, the power, the only power that can remove this type of power is the power from God, the God of all creation, the one that created everything. He created the powers. He created everything. His power is the only power that can remove this stuff from you, okay? And so the main thing is that for those who have a relationship with him, he gives us the authority to get this type of stuff off of us. The demonic spirits and, you know, um, this type of power, he gives us authority and we have access to him to get all of these things off off of us. So if you don't actually have a relationship with him, that's the first thing you need to do to get these things off of you. You need to have a relationship with him. And wh what I'll do, I'll leak a video uh, here um, that you can actually, if that's something you want to do, um, do that first and then come back to this video. And if you don't know a lot about how to have this relationship, I want you to Google uh, salvation through Jesus Christ and learn more about um, how um, you can actually enter into this relationship with God the Father through His Son, okay? Okay, as you guys know, uh, the spiritual realm is way more powerful than the natural realm. Everything has to be done in the spiritual realm first and then it manifests in the natural realm. So that's why witches, warlocks, occult members, they are able to do things. They access the spiritual realm. They access the demonic realm. They get this power. They're dealing with these demonic spirits and they get this power and they're doing things in that realm. They're attacking us from that realm. They're taking our belongings and uh, burying them in that realm. They're doing a lot of stuff in that realm. And when they're doing it in that realm, it is being made manifest in the natural. It's being made manifest in our bodies, in our minds, in our finances. You know, it's being made natural, uh, manifest in the natural, okay? And so, as you know, uh, the spiritual realm, like our words and thoughts, actually create things, okay? So the uh, spiritual realm and the spiritual things are way more powerful than the natural things. So that's why we have to have a relationship with God and he has to give us either the power, give us the authority, or he has to remove it himself from us, okay? So what we're going to uh, remove today, we're going to focus on removing uh, the finances that have been buried in the ground. And like I was talking about in my last video, you can check it out, um, part one is about all the different types of attacks. Our attacks, we can get attacks and curses on our body, our mind, our heart, our finances, um, 
our bloodline. We can have curses on our bloodline, our destiny. Um, even objects that are around us can be cursed. Curses can be on everything. Okay, so when it comes to different types of curses, um, they have to be removed different ways. And, um, you know, if demonic spirits are the only thing that is attacking you, you can use your authority that you have in the name of Jesus to command those demonic spirits to leave. But if occult members, witches, or warlocks are attacking you, uh, it's a different way you have to deal with them. You can't command them to leave. They're humans. And, you know, one of the things, we don't have authority over humans. Um, we only have authority over demonic spirits. God is the one that has to take care of the humans, okay? He has to take care of the humans. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask the Lord to your finances and um, your, uh, your finances, your money, and your wealth that has been buried in the spiritual realm. We're going to ask him to go there and remove those things, okay? So uh, what I want you to do, I want you to get focused on the Lord, worship, spend some time with him, focus on him as much as possible, and then push play on this video. Okay, thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask that you go into the spirit realm. Heavenly Father, every person that is watching this video, Father, if their finances is buried in the ground, in the demonic realm, Heavenly Father, I ask that you go into that realm, the place where their finances is buried, Father. Father, I ask that you gather all of their finances, that you dig up all of their finances, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. I ask that you dig up all of their finances. I ask that all of their finances be removed, be completely removed from the ground, all of their money, all of their possessions, everything of theirs that belongs to them that have been buried in the ground. Father, I ask that you uh, gather all of their belongings and completely remove it from the ground in Jesus' name. And Father, I ask that you release fire from heaven. Father, I ask that you destroy that ground. I ask that you destroy the soul. Everything, Father, there that's in that realm. Father, I ask that you release fire from heaven and completely destroy it completely. And Heavenly Father, all of their possessions, all of their money, their finances, Everything, Father, that belongs to them. Father, I ask that everything that you've gathered, I ask that you take it there in the spiritual realm where you are and lock it up. Store it there. Put it in the storehouse and keep it safe for them, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I ask that you keep all of their things safe and protect all of those th their things so the enemy cannot steal it. In Jesus' name, Father. And what I want to tell you guys, um, like I'll just tell you guys some little tips, you know, at the end of each video, at the beginning of videos, and at the end. Because just in case you didn't see my first video and you're seeing this one first, you'll have these tips. Be careful who you give money to and be careful who you receive money to uh, from. If uh, you give money to someone that's in the occult or a witch, they can take that money, put it in the demonic realm, and curse it. You know, they can bury it, they can put it in a vault, they can lock it up, they can do things with it in that realm. And all of a sudden, your money isn't flowing anymore. And also, they can give you a gift. Whenever they give you a gift, it's like you're coming into a contract, you're coming into agreement with them. And when you come into agreement with them, they have access to your finances. And then they can come in, take it, put it in the demonic realm, and bury it, do whatever they want to do. Okay, so be careful who you give. Pray, pray, you know, take some time out and pray. Um, before you give things and before you, you know, receive them. If you are receiving things, like if you're a ministry or people are giving money to you, um, pray over those things. Ask the Lord to remove all the curses that are on the things. All the word curses, all the curses. Ask Him to remove everything. Actually, I would just do it over all of my finances. Um, you know, every time money is coming in, pray all the curses, all the word curses, everything that's spoke, spoken over it. Uh, is removed from that finances from those money okay and those gifts okay even food <laughs> all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next video what i'm going to do i'm going to pray that blocks any kind of blocks that is on your finances that's hindering finances from flowing let's say the finances aren't really flowing that good um it could be blocks on them okay um i'm going to pray in the next video about the blocks uh, to remove the blocks off of your finances. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.